so um, I'm gonna make this video and this is um, this is do at your own risk type of thing this is stock this came out of an 01 uh, uh, Dodge Durango let me just get this because I'm not gonna look at anyways um, all right this is of an 01 Dodge Durango this is a 46 RE this is a, a stock hub and input shaft here. I was told numerous times that you can't put six frictions on here, okay? And I put six frictions on there. All right, so I got six frictions. All right, how I'm going to go about getting six frictions on this stock hub. These are all stock components of the 46RE. You have two different steels here, okay? You have a thicker one which has all the lugs, all right, for the grooves. And remember, you wanna, you wanna use your wire wheel, your stainless steel wire wheel, and get rid of all the sharp edges, okay, because these are stamped pieces. Then you got your thinner ones. Some of them have a missing lug, okay? These grab the drum, these lugs here. Why is that important? Well, the more you have engaged in the drum, the less force is put on these lugs. Okay, so originally when I put this together, I put the thicker ones in, okay? And I wanted it to be wider for it to absorb the heat, and I wanted to have all the tangs okay so when building a transmission I realize that you have to sometimes uh, be creative okay and as long as it applies and you have clearance you're good and nothing binds okay or, or there's no um, there's no hang up, there's no overlap, which means uh, one clutch pack comes on without another one coming off. Uh, nothing that uh, stresses inside there. So it's all about it's all about clearance and pressures and returns. Okay. Um, so I put this together. I did a video on it. And right at the end of the video, right before I put it together, I put this on, okay? I put this on like so, and I spun it like this, and I wasn't paying attention at the time, and I'm really thankful that I found this, I, I, I saw the video again, because when I did this, it ratcheted. And I put the transmission together. And I think the last time I put this transmission together, I had uh, some issues with, with the uh, end play. And maybe it wasn't grabbing that last friction. And remember, I had I had six frictions in here, okay, with the thick steels. And there was a live with uh, with John Cope and John Wilburn. And I asked the question, you know, I got I got six frictions on here, and they said you can't, you know. Um, Cope said you can't fit the six frictions on there because of. the depth of this, okay? So what is the depth of this? Let's measure. And I completely agreed at, at the time, and I still agree now. This has to be a little longer for the six frictions and the, the thicker steels. So this is roughly, it's an in, not an exact measurement here, okay? I've got one, 1. 1.408. 
truffle. And to get the six, to get the six frictions in here, I took the pressure plate out of the forward. Why did I do that? Well, I did that because I needed a thinner uh, pressure plate because the original one, let me grab it here. Here's the original one. Okay. See that? So the direct and forward share the same internal drum diameter and the splines here. So when you get rid of when you get rid of this for this two things happen. Okay, not just one. Okay? Again, you change one thing it changes everything. Especially in a transmission. Not only do you have a thinner pressure plate so you can stack more steels and frictions in here, it also moves the clutch pack this way, okay? It actually pushes the clutch pack more towards, this would be, this will, it'll actually take that whole clutch pack and move that clutch pack towards the forward drum. Okay, so this does two things. It only it doesn't only do the clearance. It actually moves that whole entire clutch pack because this is thinner right here. And this is how it gets applied. So you always got to go to the applied side, okay? How these are going to adjust that clutch pack in there. Because it's going to catch on the snap ring, the piston's going to apply the pack, everything's going to shoot forward. So with that being said, moving on. When you take this out of the forward, it has a raised lip, okay? It has a raised lip right here. I took my grinder and I grinded that down. You have to grind this down because when you put this on, you don't want that raised section there to hit your forward. Hence, the different size bushings. You have to space this drum right here where the bushing rides to where there is no contact here. You don't want any contact here. You need to check these things, especially when you're changing things. When you, when you rem always remember when building a transmission, when you